Hello everybody, and uh, welcome to um, uh, how to stream music, movies, and photos from your PlayStation, sorry, from your desktop computer, Windows PC, to your PlayStation, or uh, also works with Xbox 360 console. Now what I'm going to be doing is, this is going to be entirely screen captures, okay? So let's just get into this. So the first piece of software you're need, you'll need is the PS3 Media Server. So all you have to do is go to ps3mediaserver.org. You're going to click on Announcements. Then you're going to click on uh, PS3 Media Server. And as of today's date, August 14th, 2010, PS3 Media Server 1.10.5. You click there. And the first post here will guide you directly to the Google code page where all the uh, versions are hosted. So you have a Linux, a Mac, Windows, and also some beta versions as well. So go ahead and download uh, the version that corresponds to you. I'm working with Windows, so download the Windows stable ed uh, version uh, 1.10. 10.51.exe. The second piece of software you'll, you'll need to download is AVI Synth. Okay. Now, the version that's out now is uh, 2.5.8. You're going to go down the page and go to 2.5.7.exe. That's the version you want to download and install. And you can find AVI Synth. synth available for download for free from sourceforge.net. Um, I will have a link to this page as well in my blog. And the third and final piece of software you need to download, uh, if you're using Windows 7, uh, download the Windows 7 uh, Codex, okay? And this uh, has MKV playback, okay? So this allows you to play those high definition files. Uh, through your network from your PC to PlayStation. It also tells you how to use it, how to set it up, I believe. Now, if you have a Vista machine, there's also Vista Codex here. But also note that if you have, I believe the K-Lite Mega Codec Pack also supports MKV. I'm not 100% sure, but if you have XP machines, uh, that would be my first guess to go to. Uh, but once again, I'm not sure. So you're going to download all the three software uh, applications that I've mentioned. Download, install all of them one at a time. Okay, then give your computer a restart. Uh, that's what I like to do after I, I install uh, anything on my Windows computer. So once you got it installed, we're going to go ahead and open up uh, PS3 Media Server. Okay. Excuse the flipping here. And here we have it. So when you first turn it on and your PlayStation is off and hopefully you're sitting on the same network, um, you'll have a big red X. Uh, the next thing you have to worry, this is just some, you know, as it starts up, it tells you what's going on. Um, the only thing you really have to worry about configuring is your shared folders under the navigation share settings. Okay, so you want to add, like, if you if your videos are in the, if your movies are in the video files, then you're going to add your video directory here in the bottom. Photos, same thing. Just click on the plus sign. Let's bring that over. We're going to go uh, to uh, music. And now this is our music folder. You're going to go open. And I've added my music folder as well. Make sure you save. Okay. And restart the HTTP server. Okay. So that's going to restart everything and include the directory in the settings. Uh, and uh, when you navigate over uh, with your console. Okay. Now that's pretty much it. It, you have to worry about everything else is set up ready to go uh, when you have all your codecs installed everything appears just like this 
you know, pl uh, with the little red green arrows. Um, and that's that's it. That's it. You should be good to go. Now, what I can do is let's see if I turn on the Xbox. Sometimes an Xbox will appear on here. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to try it nonetheless. If it doesn't... Oh, and there it is. Look at that. See that? It takes a bit of time through the uh, recording. But Xbox is found. Now, if when your PlayStation is on, it'll have a... Um, PS3 uh, displayed here. Now when they're both on, I don't know if it'll keep the first one or the PS3. I'm really not sure. But um, there you go, and you'll see and you'll see uh, the status that you're connected and good to go. And that's it. And then you can go to your console and navigate um, to the movies. Now to to do that, <clears throat> you can uh, just go to uh, my previous video that I released about streaming movies with subtitles. Uh, at the end of that video, I include a clip of me navigating on an Xbox to the movies to play to play um, uh, to play movies with subtitles. Now, the only difference is to just play the movies without subtitles. Do not go into the transcode. Uh, I believe it's the transcode uh, folder. You don't have to go in there. Just go into your video folder and just play your movie right out of there. Uh, the only reason you'd go into the transcode folder is if you can't play a movie doesn't play because it's incorrect format then you would uh, uh, get it to transcode and it'll probably play with any available codec uh, already downloaded in your system okay hopefully this uh, this makes some sense if not uh, leave a comment on my blog no guarantees uh, that I can get to you quickly uh, it's I've got a lot on my plate really busy uh, this is just a hobby for me, so hopefully uh, this works for you, and hopefully you can enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, uh, and uh, that's it. Thanks. See you next time.